In this iMovie tutorial, we're going to look at picture in picture. Now, I have an example of that already completed here, and I'll show you how I created it. So I'm going to move the, the scrubber across the footage, and then another bit of footage will appear up as picture in picture. Now, you can use video as your picture in picture, or you can just use images. And you can have some settings like some shadow. You can have different effects in the way that your picture appears on the screen. So in this case, it's dissolving. So let's look at how you do picture in picture in iMovie. So I'm going to delete this. And I've still got the footage. And I want to put a picture in picture at a point where that surface is coming out of the water, just so you can sort of see the face of that person. Now I'm going to use a video clip. And I don't want the video clip of the picture in picture to have any sound because it's going to conflict with the sound on this clip which I've just turned down at the moment. It's turned off so it doesn't interfere. So in my events I've selected this two second clip. So I'm going to drag it down to where I want it to be attached to and then move it by dragging it just to the point where I think I want it to appear. Now when you put something on top of another clip, it defaults to a cutaway. So when I scrub over this, it will cut to that clip before it then goes back to the original footage. So you have to change that. Now it has audio, so I can either right click and detach the audio, or I can just turn the audio down. And because I'm not going to use the audio at all, I'm going to right click and I'm going to detach that audio completely. And now I need to change some of the settings. So I'm going to select it and then up into the toolbar up here, looking at the video overlays, and I'm going to select picture in picture. And then there are all these other things that you can do to it. So how is the picture going to be brought into the movie? We'll leave it at dissolve for the moment. How many seconds will that transition take? It's 0.5 at the moment. Do you want to have a border? So at the moment I haven't got one. I can have a small border or a large border. And the colour of that border can change. So select a different colour. And that colour, if I take the clip, the um, eyedropper, can be something that's similar to what's already on the screen. So I'll keep it that colour because it blends in with the background of that clip. And you want a shadow. Now you can also, by dragging the handles, make it bigger or smaller and move it to a different position. So I'm going to leave it here. And then when you're happy with those settings, click the tick, apply the settings, and then play it. So I scrub over it to play it. It zooms in and out. You can make it the clip longer, so trim or extend it. So I'm going to drag the edges to make that a little bit bigger, make three seconds, and just move it over, the, over there a little bit. And then scrub over it again, and that's going to be a longer clip, longer. Zooms in and out, and you, you can just move it if it's too big, just select it again, picture in picture, move it about, Change the transition, so this one's a zoom, still picture and picture, zooms in and out. And the, the length of that transition might have to be increased. Now you can do it from by clicking that, select the overlay. You just change this section here to the amount of seconds you want that zoom transition to occur. Or you can do it on the, on the actual clip itself. You drag them in, it's going to go for a 0.8 second, which is just a longer transition to zoom in and out. And the third one, third type of transition is a swap. It swaps the footage on the bottom of the timeline, becomes the picture in picture, and the picture in picture is the main image. So it goes there, the Footage at the bottom is being swapped for the picture in picture, and then it just goes back again. Pretty good for some emphasis. Now you can also do it with an image. So let's just move along, put in another clip. 
Let's take this one. Turn the sound down and put in a photo. So I'm going to go to my photos and select this one. Put it over here. Photos are four seconds. This is four seconds, so it's the same length as that, but I don't want the picture in picture to be four seconds, so I can narrow that a bit. Move it up there. So in this case, there 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 is just some waves, somebody surfing, and then the uh, a, a cut to the people on the beach watching. And select that into uh, picture in picture. Just put it up at the top there. There is too much um, transition, so I can make that down to 0.4 seconds. Point, a little border. This shadow. Change the colour. So let's take the the eyedropper. Pick a colour. That colour for the border. It dissolves in. You could make it bigger. Just shows the people on the beach watching. Put a transition in between these two. So it fades to black. Look at the whole thing and see how it works. That's the swap. And the picture in picture of a photo. In this iMovie tutorial, we looked at how you do picture in picture.